Um, we're looking forward to a great opportunity here uh, this week with a Florida team that we know is always uh, extremely talented. Very good team. Uh, team we're used to playing for a long time, being in on our side and uh, coming back here. So we're looking forward to getting back home. Uh, that was a bit of a challenging road trip uh, this past week um, with all that's going on at Vanderbilt, but I thought our players handled it very well, uh, in especially with the way we came out and started, and started so fast. And it's a good example of what we can do when we put all phases together uh, for good good periods of time. So that was a great start to the game. Uh, but getting back to Florida, a team that's a very, very good team. You know, they're always talented and well coached. You all know that. Uh, they've been dominant on the defensive side of the ball, first in the SEC. I think they're giving up less than, I think it's 2.9, uh, 2 less than three yards per rush, not giving up very many yards at all in the past game. So uh, been very dominant defensively and uh, offensively very efficient. You know, they, they – are going to do what coach does, you know, then, and, you know, that starts with them being a physical football team and being committed to the run game and then uh, booting and play actioning and things of that nature uh, off of the run game. So, um, you know, again, uh, a great challenge and looking forward to getting home and we need the crowd packed and we need them loud. Uh, it's going to be a big SEC East game and uh, looking forward to that challenge. Questions? Mark, obviously the last two wins over Florida were so emotional, right? Moments for the program. Obviously every year is different, but is there some sort of edge that you guys feel like after those two, you know, you guys have the edge in that series? Is it confidence? Or no, I mean, it, it, you know, I mentioned last week, you know, when they talked about them beating us in, in the year before, it really doesn't have any bearing on that game. If it does for our players, if they come in locked in early in the week, then, then that's the way I expect our team to be anyway. We're playing Florida, you know, you, you, you know it's going to take a great effort. You know, we're playing at home. We should have a great sense of pride. And, uh, you know, I think there's, you know, that, that term that we use a lot in our program is that divine discontent. You know, we know there's more out there. We, we know we can play better. And that ought to be our motivation. Mark, you mentioned the crowd. The last time Florida played here, I think they had eight legal procedure penalties. I have great confidence in the people of Kentucky that can get up very early and pound some beers. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you dis disrespect the, <laughs> this great state and the great people of it? You all hosted Graham Mertz. For a visit when he was in the portal and you were looking for a quarterback. What did you like about him and what have you seen? From uh, Graham has been very, well, first of all, he's been very good with the football. I think they they have very few turnovers in general. I want to say he only maybe has one. And he's been very efficient, uh, very smart, you know, getting rid of the football and taking care of the ball and running their offense. And, and uh, he's been very efficient. So uh, he's, he's played very well. Mark, after looking at the tape, how did you think Eli and Jagger going back to center guard? How did that look? Uh, really, Eli was really pretty stable. You, you know, we didn't have any snap issues, which which was nice. Um, he had, uh, you know, we had one MA. I mean, with Eli, had one missed assignment, and Jagger uh, needs to get his uh, get some reps and and get his feet on the ground. We still need to play better inside. We need to play better at guard. You know, and uh, I thought Marcus Cox played a very good game. Not perfect, but he played a good game. Uh, we're playing better at right. Uh, we got to get we got to get playing better inside. What is Florida? They, they seem to be pretty good at creating explosives on the ground. What kind of challenge is that for you guys? And how are they creating those? Well, running back is it seems to always be a strength at Florida, right? You know, they they always have some good backs, but they have to. Very talented running backs. I think it, it shows that they're committed to, to running the ball. You know, they, they they know a lot of their big and their their explosives come off the run game and the and the and play action off of it. Um, and so uh, I think Coach Napier does a really nice job of being committed to that and, and staying with the run. You know, and and. Uh, 
and making you defend it. And uh, with some very talented backs, then they're physical up front. And so, um, you know, they, you know that, that's one of the main reasons why they're effective in the run game because they're, they're committed to it. You also haven't faced, I mean, it's been a lot of kind of pass happy teams. So do you have to make that sort of a point of emphasis to be strong in the run fits? Well, they, were, they, were, they were very similar last year. I think Coach Napier does what he does, you know, and he does it well. You know, I think he has a very, very good system, and he's pretty committed to that system.